Now we're just going to work on this ground wire, okay? You've got to get the ground wire connected onto this screw. So the way to do that is on my wire strippers, there's a little hole up there. See, there's one here and one there. Well, I'm going to take, take this and stick it through that hole about 3 sixteenths or so. And I'm going to roll it up like that. I can fold it over and that's what it's going to look like. That way I can put it on this screw. I want to just tilt it, tilt it out a little bit. That way I can fit, fish it under there. And I want to put that on looped around so that when I tighten the screw it kind of has a tendency to want to tighten onto there. And the reason why I made that the end ticked a little bit long so I can grab it here with my end of my strippers and just kind of fold that together. Okay. Now you can go ahead and tighten up this screw. Like that. Taking another screwdriver just to double check it. You could take a standard slotted screwdriver because this screw is, is fit for standard or Phillips. I try doing the Phillips first and then, and then I hold on to this and do it with the standard just a pinch just to make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, now I take that and flip it up like that. Okay. So that's what your job's going to look like so far. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to look on here and uh, look at these screws. And I only need one screw on the, the left-hand side. And the left-hand side is where the white wire goes. That's the neutral wire. And that, I don't know if you've ever noticed, the, the left-hand slot is taller, is longer in the right hand slot. That's where your neutral wire goes to the left and also on the left there's screws on the side here and those are silver. Silver for the white wire, gold on this side for the hot wires. Okay so there's a couple little tips for you. And I like to put, there's usually some holes in the back of the plug where you can strip this wire and just push it into the back but lots of times that loosens up when you're pushing it back into the wall. And so I like to use the screws on the side. So I'm just going to set that up. So on this side, one of the screws was loose from before. I'm going to tighten that up. And on the other screw, I'm just going to make sure it's unscrewed all the way. And there's a definite back backing out and you won't be able to undo the screw all the way. You'll, you'll feel tension on there and you know you got it out all the way. Okay, so I'm just going to check this side too. I like to have the screws out all the way. That way it gives me just a little bit more room to squeeze these wires underneath those, those screws. Because what I do on these too is I'll loop those around and fit them on the screws. Kind of like I did the ground wire. Okay, so my plug is ready. And I'm going to hook up the white wire first. Let's work on that now.